It's been around Hawaii forever, but paddleboarding has really picked up on the seacoast in the last few years. You get the boat feeling while getting exercise. Uh, it's, it's a great way to be on the water for sure. Shops that give lessons and rent and sell them explain safety tips and warn people to know their limits. Stay within 100 feet of the shore and be aware of conditions or they can get very literally carried away. It happened to two women in their 60s off Hampton's North Beach on Sunday. We had two paddle boarders that with a strong west wind got blown out roughly 300 yards, approximately 300 yards out to sea. Lifeguards went to check, found them struggling and grateful to be towed back in. The ocean's currents, temperature and shifting winds, nothing to take for granted. The season's been pretty crazy. Um, it's, there's a lot of people going outside their, their comfort zone. Like, you know, they, they're like, oh, I got this. And, you know, they end up drifting out towards the ocean. And Experts advise staying on calmer, flatter channels or lakes, at least to start. And they say like kayakers, paddleboarders are required to have a Coast Guard approved flotation device, as well as a whistle or small air horn to get people's attention. All it takes is that one time you go out and, you know, like I said, there's no communication. So if nobody sees you, you're just going to keep drifting. So. If the Coast Guard finds a paddle boarder or a kayaker without the proper safety equipment, they'll be sent back to shore to get it, and they can also get a citation. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.